good evening students so we are going to continue the lecture in which we will discuss about equipotential surface so what is equipotential surface a surface which is offering a same potential at every point is known as equipotential surface suppose we have a surface okay and we can say that the potential at every point is similar then that is known as equipotential surface for example suppose i have this surface and i guarantee that the potential at every point on this plane surface will be similar then this surface will be known as equipotential surface in short there is no potential difference between any two points so such kind of uh, such kind of surface is known as equipotential surface now so we have understood this well now can we take any example of equipotential surface so for understanding equipotential surface we can consider a point charge okay suppose here is a point charge plus q so now say at r distance what will be the potential at this point a and suppose i have taken the same r distance what will be the potential at this point b and i have taken the same point c which is also at r distance what will be the potential at point c so our answer is very clear that at all these points the potential will have the same value why the potential will have the same value because we have understood one formula v is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not q upon r this is the potential created due to a point charge so potential created due to a point charge depends on r so r at point a point b point c is same so the potential at point a b and c will be similar now suppose we join all these points okay at now which kind of surface we have got we have got a equipotential surface at this point this point because all are at equal distance from the point charge all these points will offer the same potential now students i was teaching you this figure and this was a 2d figure in 3d also suppose i have a point charge and due to the point charge this is our radially outward 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 so this is how the field will be created electric field is all, always radially outward now join all these points collect all these points you will get a shape of a proper sphere so that imaginary sphere will be a equipotential surface so this was all about equipotential surface now let us proceed to the second topic of this lecture that is properties of equipotential surface suppose we are in a equipotential surface suppose this is point a this is point b and both are in a equipotential surface so no work will be done for moving a charge from b to a students whenever we are moving a charge in a equipotential surface we don't have we don't need to do any work in a equipotential surface the work done is zero to move a discharge how it is zero w a p is equal to charge into potential difference we have studied this formula now substitute the value what is the charge q not suppose we are moving test charge q not and what is the potential difference between point a and a b and a what is the potential difference that is zero why it is zero because it is a equipotential surface we are considering in equipotential surface the potential of point b and point a will be similar so if the potential is similar then potential difference will be how much that is zero so no work is done so suppose if we are in a equipotential surface and we are moving a point charge no work has to be done for moving the charge so you can keep the charge here 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 anywhere if that surface is equipotential then no work is done to move that charge so this is the first property of equipotential surface and second property is electric field is always normal to equipotential surface at every point electric field is always normal to equipotential surface this we have to study and this we have to understand and this is very important property let me tell you okay so please if you have any doubt you may ask suppose we have taken the example of one point charge and we have drawn the imaginary surface and this is equipotential surface at all points all these points are equal distance apart from the point charge now students 
what is the direction of electric field okay so for getting out the direction of electric field i have a wave so i need little the space that's why i am just erasing this so now students i have drawn one more sphere okay now students which sphere this is also a potential surface because the distance of all these points all these sphere points are at equal distance apart now students the potential of point b will be greater or a will be greater obviously the potential of point a will be greater because this is very closer to the point charge and electric field is always inversely proportional to the distance so a will have greater potential b will have less potential what is the direction of electric field so students electric field is always there from the higher potential to the lower potential so electric field direction is in this way this is the direction of electric field e this is the direction of electric field now what is the direction of equipotential surface so this is the suppose we have to take the direction of equipotential surface just draw the tangent to this line this is the surface draw the tangent now students in class 9 or 10 you have studied that tangent is always perpendicular to radius so what is the angle between this electric field which was in this direction and this is the plane what is the angle between this plane and this electric field the angle is always 90 degree so you have to remember this electric field is always normal to the surface suppose i know the direction of electric field someone has given me the direction of electric field that this is how electric field is going now draw it with the potential surface what i will do i will draw normal to this and that will give me the direction of electric field so electric field and the potential surface are always perpendicular to each other now students c part which we are going to study out is equal potential surface are closer together in region of strong field and farther apart in the region of weak field this we can understand well where is so ever there is a strong field the equal potential surface will be very close to each other and whenever there is a surface where the equi, uh, where the field is weak potential is weaker then the distance of the potential surface will be little greater so this is by this formula e is equal to minus dv upon dr we have derived derived the relation between electric field and potential e is equal to minus dv upon dr or what is the value of dr so dr is equal to minus dv upon e so dr is inversely proportional to e if v is constant obviously we will be constant because that is equal potential surface so we cannot be change now dr is inversely proportional to electric field so this is very clear wherever there will be strong electric field r will be less wherever there will be less electric field r will be more so this you can understand distance will be greater in a weak electric field and distance will be less in a greater field so this is because both are inversely proportional to each other now d part is and the d property of equal potential surface is no two equal potential surface can intersect each other so this that that is a very important part and we can understand it well by taking this example suppose this is a equal potential surface the potential of point a b c d every point we will we will take a to z every point will occupy the same potential and this is also a equal potential surface now at the point of intersection what will be the value of potential it will be according to this equal potential surface or according to this equal potential surface you are confused so that is why we cannot guarantee that which potential value will be offered by the point of intersection so that is why no equal potential surface can intersect each other now students this was all about the properties of equal potential surface i hope you understood this now third one third topic which we are going to cover out is equal potential surface of various charge system actually students we will take different different kind of systems and we will take different different kinds of shape and we will draw the equal potential surface for such kind of shapes so first we have taken for a equal potential surface due to a point charge and due to a point charge i already have explained you while i started this topic still we can consider it out suppose we have a point charge okay the electric field will be radially outward so this is how we have drawn the electric field and the potential at point this 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 everywhere the potential will be similar 
Why the potential will be similar? Because all are a same distance apart from the point charge Q. So this is a equipotential surface formula I have written uh, because you can understand it well. Now second part equipotential surface of two equal and opposite point charges. Suppose we have two equal and opposite point charges. This is plus, this is minus. Where the electric field will offer the greatest value. So students, the electric field will offer the greatest value between plus and minus. Why this will offer the greatest value between plus and minus? Because both will offer the same direction of field. That is why you can see in the middle, the electric field is very strong between plus and minus. So we can see the equipotential surface are very closer to each other. Very closer to each other. And there the electric field will be little weaker. So equipotential surface are distance apart from each other. So when there is a plus and a minus charge, the electric field will offer the maximum, maximum value at between the plus and minus. That is why we have shown the equipotential surface very closer to each other in the region between plus and minus and we have shown the equipotential surface little farther apart because here comparatively the electric field will be little weaker and because of this property we already have studied that equipotential surface are closer together in region of strong field and farther apart in the region of weak field. I hope you understood this property. Now students we are going to we are going to draw the equipotential surface for little more kind of shape. Now you have now you have understood these all points. That is why I am erasing these points so that I will get this space to tell you a little further. My students, we are going to make out the equipotential surface of two equal positive charges. Equal potential surface of two equal positive charges. If we use our brain, we can definitely do it by ourselves. Suppose we have two equal positive charges. Now, students, I am claiming that this plus charge and this plus charge are equal to each other, and both are like charges. So where the field will be little less, I can guarantee the field will be weaker between these two charges. Why the field will be weaker? Because this will create the electric field in this direction and this charge will create the electric field in this direction. So both are opposing each other. That is why the field will be weaker here. So when we will draw the equipotential surface because of this, so the potential will have, will be farther apart here you can see the potential will be farther apart. Here the potential will go farther. Okay, distance apart. And there comparatively there, the potential will offer less distance. Why we have drawn in such a way? And what will be the direction of electric field line? Electric field lines are always normally outward, normally outward, normally outward. So this is how the direction of equipotential surface electric field lines will be. I hope you understood this topic. Now, why I have shown the distance little greater? Because here between the plus and plus, the potential surface will have the weak electric field. And in weak, the potential surface are farther apart. Now students, I want to explain to you little more properties of equipotential surface or I want to draw one more kind of case so that I can wind it up. So just be with the lecture. So that is equipotential surface for a uni uniform electric field. Equipotential surface for a uniform electric field. Students, suppose I know the direction of electric field direction of electric field is given to us and that is uniform. So uniform means field lines when we will draw the field lines. All the field lines will be equal distance apart from each other. Now students, I have drawn the field lines. What will be the equipotential surface of all this? Equipotential surface for this will be, I already have talked to one property that equipotential surface is normal to the electric field. 
Now suppose electric free lines are coming in this direction. So what will be the normal? So normal will be like I can take out the copy to make you explain. Now suppose electric field lines are coming to us. Okay. So what will be the normal to this electric field line? This surface. This will be normal to it. So field lines are coming in this way. What will be the normal to this? This is how the normal will be. This is how the normal will be. And this is how the normal will be. So what we should do? We should draw a kind of surface which is normal to this. So this all is a equipotential surface. This all is going to be the equipotential surface. These are normal to the electric field lines. So this was all about equipotential surface. I hope you understood the topic. Thank you. God bless you.